Let's talk about how Miles Morales met Peter Parker in the Spider-Man storyline. To get the most out of this storyline, there are some things you should know about these characters, so this is a video to get you up to speed. The main universe in Marvel Comics is called the 616 Universe. That's where this Peter Parker is from. The 616 is the universe where the majority of the Spider-Man stories from 1962 till now have taken place. You can imagine when a comic's been running for that long, it can be hard for a new reader to jump on board because there's just so much history. And the early high school years of Peter Parker were almost rushed through because the creator, Stan Lee, didn't realize at the time that this character would last generations. Peter was out of high school by the 30th issue in 1965. So in the year 2000, Marvel came out with Ultimate Spider-Man, which was an alternate universe retelling of Spider-Man's origin story set in modern times which would focus on his high school years. Marvel didn't just make Ultimate Spider-Man, they also made Ultimate X-Men, Ultimate Marvel Team-Up, Ultimate Fantastic Four, you get the idea. And while some things from the alternate universe are more or less the same as the 616 universe, there are also some big changes. For example, in the 616, Nick Fury looks like this, but in the Ultimate Universe, he looked like this. He actually looked like Samuel Jackson in the Ultimate Comics before he was cast as Nick Fury in the MCU. The movies have actually adapted a lot of things from the Ultimate Universe, such as the spider that bit Peter Parker coming from Oscorp. Anyways, 11 years into Ultimate Spider-Man's run, they ran into a familiar problem. The character was getting to be a bit too complicated to just jump in and read. So they killed off Ultimate Spider-Man. Spider-Man took a bullet shot by the Punisher that was intended for Captain America, and then had to race back home to save Aunt May, Gwen, and MJ from the Ultimate Green Goblin. He was successful, but he died with them all at his side. And the world learned that Peter Parker was Spider-Man. Shortly before the death of Peter Parker, Miles Morales was visiting his uncle, who was secretly the Prowler, a spider hitched a ride home with him when he was robbing Oscorp, and bit Miles, giving him the powers that Peter Parker had and a few more. Miles was out exploring his newfound powers and actually witnessed the death of Peter Parker from afar. At first, Miles, inspired by Peter Parker, dressed up in a Halloween outfit of Spider-Man. Miles realized that wearing Peter Parker's old suit was in bad taste after talking to Ultimate Spider-Woman, who's actually a female clone of the Ultimate Universe's Peter Parker and kind of a cool, underutilized character if you ask me. Spider-Woman brought Miles to Nick Fury in the Ultimates and then... Miles had his own costume provided to him by Nick Fury. Spider-Man. I love this city. Love it. And really, the best part about being Spider-Man is getting to swing around up here and just take it all in. And yes, I am including the part where my life seems to be in constant danger by elaborately themed costumed crazies. I just love this city. <laughs> Think about it. What is New York? It's every little light and every little window and every amazing building. Every light has a life and magic behind it. And I get to swing around town and have this all to myself. Well, almost to myself. There's other heroes flying around. How exciting for you. You're just driving by, minding your own business, and oh my god, Spider-Man just dropped in. Wow. Thor, Iron Man, gah, uh, gah. Well said. The Fantastic Four, whoever the Defenders are. Seriously, if this city was a girl, I would date her. But if the city was a girl, she would out of the truck. Yeah, this. Hands in the air. And wave them like I just don't care. In the air! Okay, now I know you know I was not driving this truck. Hands in the air! They're all the way up. They don't go any more up. Listen, I was just trying to help you stop this. Shut up! That's just not nice. To take the mask off and get down on the ground. I have a better idea. You calm down, and I leave. Not gonna let that get to me. Uh, okay, that was weird. Yes, so by all means, let's swing towards the weird. Okay, creepy abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of the biggest city on the planet. What exactly was that alien-like burst of energy that just ripped up out of you? Huh. Uh, hello? Hmm, awfully quiet. Don't want to just jump in there when I have no idea what's inside. Wow, talk about personal growth. It only took me 3,535 times to figure out not to burst into a place like this when I have no idea what's inside. Blacked out windows. Space aliens about to get their destruction on. Clone factory. Doctor Doom honeymoon. Oh well, here we go. But if this is a surprise party for me, I told those silly Avengers I hate surprises. Um... What is this? Not alien tech. Stark parts. Is this an energy source? Wait, I've seen this before. Oh no, 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 not him. I hate this guy. Spider sense. Ugh, it is Mysterio, master of being a pain in my tuchus. Mysterio, what are you doing? You know how this works. I get to break your fishbowl helmet at the end of the fight. Better wrap this up fast. He's a legitimate concern. No, no. Oh yes. Now why don't you tell me exactly what you're up to in here and I'll- Why? Why you? Pal, I was just thinking the same thing about you. Not you. Dude, you're giving me more of a complex than I already have. You have no idea who you're dealing with! You have no idea what I am capable of! Yeah, yeah, whatever. I missed out when you died the first time, not this time. 
What are you talking about, you complete mental case? What are you up to here, Fishbowl? What is this thing? Some sort of power generator? I'll make sure the big brains are able to shut whatever this is down and... No. No! Well, that sucked. Um... What is that? How is it daytime now? Oh my god. What exactly just happened? Everything's the same except... No, it's not. Ugh, I have the shakes. It's another one of those Mysterio tricks. This is what he does. He gasses you or poisons you and you wake up and you're married to She-Hulk and... But he didn't drug me. He never got his hands on me. It was that thing. That... Whatever it was. Spidey then drops back into what he thinks is the abandoned warehouse. Ah! Uh, sorry. Get out of here! I can help you clean it up. Get out! Well, at least she talked to me, so that's a step up from the last woman I met. Okay, okay, what is that? Ugh, like I have time for this now. Sorry I don't have time for a pithy quip, but here's some foot. I, I, I was just trying to play some pool and these guys, they just jumped me. But you're okay? Wow, no offense, but that costume is in terrible taste. Excuse me? You know, we need all the heroes we can get, but that was Peter Parker's. So you really shouldn't be wearing it. What did you just say? You're gonna tell me that you dress like that and you don't know who Peter Parker is? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, okay. I need to figure this all out, like, now. I'll just head back to my apartment and backtrack all this until- Whoa! No way! Meanwhile, Mysterio comes too. He did it! He did! Why Spider-Man? Why is it always Spider-Man? Mysterio then puts on special gloves and a helmet, and an avatar comes to life. Mysterio avatar activated. Mysterio avatar activated. Time to make sure Spider-Man is never seen or heard from again. Time to make sure Spider-Man is never seen or heard from again. This dimension is my discovery, my playground. It's mine! Mine! And I'm not going to have him ruin this for me like he does everything else. So, uh, what's the deal? Um, you tell me. Is this a clone thing? What's a clone thing? You tell me. I thought this is some kind of Nick Fury test. That's a good one. Is it? You tell me! No, kid. You tell me. How old are you? How old are... Wait, are you? You're not Peter Parker, are you? What? Oh my god, are you? You are! I thought you'd be shorter, but oh man, this is huge. I was hoping, I mean, that one day that you'd... you'd... Yeah, and with that, you're officially freaking me out. Hey, whoa, did you see that? I completely dodged it. Not bad for a... Yeah, I saw. Last chance, kid. Who are you? Listen, if you are Peter Parker, I just want to stop. I just want to talk to you. You don't have to freak out or... Whoa, hey, are those real web shooters? Are they mechanical or organic? Who are you? Dude, I'm a Spider-Man too. Two? Hey, you're the one that showed up out of nowhere and started freaking me out. Yeah, because I'm freaked out. If it's because you're Peter Parker, I won't tell anyone it's you. I promise, except I think everyone will know if you're gonna go around dressed like that. I so wish I brought my ruby red slippers so I could click them together and get the heck out of here. And what's with your costume being cooler than mine? That I cannot- Ah! Gah! Whoa, guess I'm the uh, only Spider-Man with a venom sting. Uh-oh, did I, I kill you? I just wanted to talk. Uh, hello? Oh man, I hope you are Peter Parker and I hope you're not dead because I have like a thousand questions. Starting with, why are you even here when everyone thinks you're- Dude! I don't know how long you've been doing this, but unmasking is a big superhero no-no. Wow! And, ow! What was that you did to me? Venom sting? Ow! Uh-oh. I thought he could web or stick to walls. If I made prepubescent spider-themed kids street pizza, I will never forgive myself. And I already have a laundry list of things I will never forgive myself for, so I really don't have room for more. Kid? Kid? Please don't be dead. I really can't afford the therapy to... Ah! Okay, you are, uh, just a kid and clearly and thankfully not some weird younger version of me. Now, I'm asking you, how do you know the name Peter Parker? Give me back my mask! I'll give it back to you when you- Dude, I'm out in the open, people can see us! Then you best get to talking. Give it back! Ah! Oops. Okay, uh, I didn't think that went all the way through. Hello? Oh, great, he's... Web shooter. Oh god, please work. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Wow. Okay, now what do I do? Yeah, 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 hello, Peter. Uh, and you are? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh-huh. Do you know me? I know the name and the eye patch. Are you Peter Parker? I really don't know how to answer that question. 
It's pretty straightforward. Let me ask you a hypothetical one. Go for it. If you were a pretty well-known superhero who just put a lot of effort and thought and time in concealing your secret identity because you feared for the safety of your loved ones, but all of a sudden you found yourself in a situation where suddenly your real name seems fairly well established and your mask was off and then you ran into a teenage African-American version of your, well, self, and now you are talking to a, well, frankly, much cooler version of the Nick Fury that you are used to talking to, and you are pretty sure, after you had some time to think it over, that you may have either A, had a complete psychotic break, B, are being tricked by a former movie stuntman turned supervillain into thinking this is all real, or C, have accidentally transported to an alternate dimension that slightly resembles the one you're from, if not for the gigantic differences. What would you do? Peter Parker, meet Miles Morales. Yeah, we, uh, met. Oh man, it's him? For real? It's really him? He's from somewhere else. Is that why he's so old? He's 13. We all look 80 to him. Miles here is the Peter Parker expert. He knows everything you need to know. I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. Miles, I want you to take him and show him what happened to Peter Parker while I try to figure out how he ended up here in the first place. A dimensional rift like this is a serious matter. You believe me? Why would anyone make up a pile of garbage like that? Report back here when you're done and try not to blow anything up. Peter Parker. So you're Spider-Man. Yeah, if that's okay. Not Spider-Boy. No. Sorry about the dust up before and unmasking. That was not cool of me. Tell me, kid, is Peter Parker dead? Whoa! Grab the pilot. Wow, what's going on? I don't know. Hey, let's ask him. The universe is giving me two Spider-Man to kill for the price of one. Well... All right. Uh, what is going on exactly? Dude, I don't know. You live here. I'm visiting. Wait, wait, I do. I know this guy. I saw him online. It's, it's Mysterioso. How did you two find each other so quickly? How can the only two Spider-Men find each other so? I so got this. Little Spider-Boy, I should have killed you the minute I heard of you. Specifically before anything like this could ever even come close to happening. Maybe finally after all the humiliations, the universe is evening the score with me. Two Spider-Men for the price of one. Ah! Ow! I should run. No, no, they can't hurt me from here. They can't touch me. That's the beauty. They can't touch me. But I can torture them. What was that? I'm no rocket scientist, but I think it was something that knocked us into the East River, which I am happy to discover is as disgusting as the one from my New York City. Listen, I think I know what's going on here, believe it or not. This is Mysterio. This is the guy who accidentally sent me here in the first place, so you need to get out of here. Before he does something. Whoa. Exactly. Don't sweat it, kid. These are just illusions, little tricks. This is what he does. This is classic Mysterio nonsense that. Uh, uh, never mind, I was wrong. Well, r okay, this is a little more elaborate than usual, Mysterio. Ow! I love that you don't get it. My favorite part is when the jokes stop. That's when I know. Uncle Aaron? But, but you're. Kid, run! Ah! I don't get it. Is it a magic trick or not? If it's not real, why does it hurt? Kid, run. No. What are you? <sighs> ah! Ah! Stop! Turn it off. Whatever you're doing, turn it. Kid, get out of my head! It is chemicals, kid. It took me a second because he's using something new and super advanced, but it's an illusion with a fierce chemical component. He's pulling our fears out of our head and hitting us with them because he's a jerk that way. Damn it! Mysterio, I'm usually a good-natured sort of fellow, but I'm telling you, put me back where I belong before I get good and angry. You're right. Maybe I was going about this all wrong. Attacking you is too pedestrian. But sticking you there with no way home, banishing you in a world that thinks you are dead? Kid, I wouldn't. Is there an off button or a plug? Kid, you don't. What are you? <laughs> eh, he'll be okay. Stand, boy. On your feet, soldier. This is Fury, codename One-Eye Eagle. We need a containment detail at my triangulated location. We've been monitoring and heading towards you since the copter was attacked. Okay, so this is going to sound crazy, but what happened was we know exactly what happened, kid. You can do that? Sure, that's what makes me, me. The question is, what makes this Mysterio, Mysterio? I've seen this before, it's an avatar casing. What does that mean? This is, was, being controlled from elsewhere. But this tech, this is fascinating. You're the big tech brain, Stark. How is he doing it? This is above and beyond me, or I should say, to the side of me. I don't know what I'm looking at. 
This Mysterio is using this avatar to do his dirty work while he sits comfy and safe in his virtual reality base. But from where and when? Where did the other Spider-Man go? Another Spider-Man? A grown-up version of Peter Parker, here in our dimension. He says he came from a world just like ours. But one where Peter Parker is alive, well, and not a kid. Yeah, but where did he go? Ain't it obvious, kid? He ran the hell away from us. But why? Because he doesn't know if any of this is real, so he's going to find out for himself. How is he going to do that? It ain't going to be pretty. This ain't gonna be pretty. This has to be an illusion, but it's also real. It's also, ah, come on. What did I do to this Mysterio other than send him to jail a billion times and make fun of his fishbowl headdress? But come on, he put a fishbowl on his head and called it a costume. He was asking for it. What I need to do is step back, retrace my life, do some footwork, center. Start looking for things Mysterio wouldn't know about. Like where Peter Parker lives in the... Uh, hi. Um, how long has this store been here? I don't know. How long have you worked here? Two years. So there's never been an apartment building here. What year is it? Are you, uh, gonna buy something? No pockets, no money. Hey, does that thing have Wi-Fi? The cash! Do it now! Do what I say! Open the register and give me the money! Really? I'm standing right here. Does that get a signal in here? Thanks. Just need to do a little search. <gasps> oh god. Please, please be a dream. What is, what is that about? Respect, respect in the little dude, just like you, but I'm doing it the normal way. Can you, oh man, can you tell me what happened to Peter Parker exactly? You don't know? Please. Later at the home of Peter Parker. Gwen, you still have to do your homework. May, it's not like I didn't do it, I just didn't do all of it. I just need to pace. How dare you! Get out of here, you lunatic! I'm calling the police, you horses! Ah. You fucking fucking think this is funny? You think it's funny to come and fuck with people? Do you have a soul? Do you have a reason to live? Wait, don't! Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, stop! What the hell is this, man? What are you doing here? This is, this is really, it's, it's him. What the hell does that mean? I'm sorry I came here. You didn't deserve this on any level. I'm really sorry. What do you have, Stark? I got nothing, Fury. Nothing? A whole lot of conjecture and theory, so I have nothing you can use. Do you really believe there's a Spider-Man from another world just like ours? I do. Suddenly, you're a believer in that which you can't prove. That which you can't prove. Yet. We know there are Earths outside ours. We've been to some of them. Ain't that hard to imagine one like the one our new Spider-Man describes, is it? What we don't need is a guy like Mysterio knowing about it and dancing between them. I need to talk to that Spider-Man. Yep, it's time to bring him back in. I'm surprised you're letting the other Spider-Man go out and about. I'm surprised you didn't hit him over the head and keep him under lock and key. What? I made the kid promises. Promises I didn't get to make good on. Who? Parker? Aunt May wakes up on the couch. And you live here with Aunt May? My dad died and my mom bailed, so Peter, you know, the other Peter, Aunt May, took me in. Wow. It's just amazing, the differences. Dude, did he really make these web shooters himself? That's so cool. Hey, wait, is there a me, a Gwen, in your world? Yes. Is she cool? Insanely, but, 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 but older. You know, uh, my age. Okay, well, wow. Can I ask a question without sounding weird? Are you dating her? You didn't let me answer if you could ask something without sounding weird, and it's, boy, uh, it's a whole thing. You're dating MJ, aren't you? Is, is there an MJ here? Oh, you better believe it. In fact, I called her and, like, your age? Yeah. Yikes, is she a model yet? A model? In my world, she's kind of a supermodel. Supermodel? Are you kidding me? A supermodel with red hair and glasses. Well, she wears, you know, contacts. She gets to be a model? What am I then? Uh, I don't know if we should be talking about all of this. Hey, are you, are you okay? May, 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 there are other worlds, whole other worlds and dimensions. There's a whole other me and you, and Peter's totally alive, and this is really him. It's him. And you, you live here now? No. No, I have to get back to where I come from. I'm here by accident. I wonder if there's a me where you come from. Oops. Do you have a me where you come from? I do, and you raised me. You and Uncle Ben. 
Is he alive too? No, sorry, but but he's the reason I even do this. When I first got my powers, I could have saved him, and I, I didn't. Now I do what I do the way I know he would have done if he were in my shoes. With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah. Oh my god, it is you! Look at you! As Peter and Aunt May from the Ultimate Universe hug and discuss the differences between their worlds, Miles looks out the window and sees a S.H.I.E.L.D. limousine pull up. Um, I think we have to go now. It's time to go now. Guess so. I changed my mind. Now I'm really glad we did this. I like this thing with you here like this. Take care of her. Done! Okay, kid, you need to web along and get back to school. Me? You're the only kid here. Oh, uh, I'd like to... I'd like to stick around a while. Kid, this is only gonna get more complicated by the... I'd like him to stick around too, if that's okay. Get in the van. Peter stops in his tracks when he notices this universe is Mary Jane watching from afar. But she runs away. It's time to go home. Hey, do you have a Nick Fury where you come from? Oh, yes. Yeah, what's he like? Uh, white. Sorry to hear that. Tony Stark, Peter Parker. Oh, hey. Whoa. Okay, tell me right now, what exactly did this Mysterio suit broadcast? Would you say it's an apparition, or would you say it's more of a fully formed bioorganism that... Hey, Tony. You know me? I know a you. Yeah? Yeah, but uh, my you stopped drinking a while back. I like yours more already. I would stop drinking if you'd stop dropping impossible equations of interdimensional travel into my lap. I can't start the equation to get him home because I don't know where the equation begins. Let me take a look. You some kind of scientist? Some kind. Any good? You hired me. Well, we'll see here. You're looking at it like a curve. It's actually more like this. I know that building. That's in Brooklyn. What building? That tiny light over Mysterio's shoulder out the window. I know that building. I can see it from my room at home. What are these videos? He's been broadcasting his rants on the web. He was always theatrical. Can't you find his secret lab or whatever if you can find out where it is according to that? Good job, kid. This is Fury, codename one eye ego, code white, full battalion. I need everything. I've destroyed Spider-Man. There's no other way to look at it. I've trapped him in a dimension he cannot escape from. I won. I keep the dimensional vortex shut, and that is it. Whoever his loved ones are here, whatever life he's built for himself, I don't have to figure out a way to ruin it. It's ruined. It's over. Spider-Man will cease to exist. Why isn't it enough? I, I have to see it. I have to see him suffer and die. I'll just, I'll just peek in and see it for myself. Mysterio, Mysterio are activated. activated. Just to peek, just to make a plan. Engage dimensional vortex. No! Surprise! It's your supervillain retirement party. Good one. Thank you. No. Come on, Mysterio. We went through all the trouble to figure out where your lab was, waited for you to open the little portal so we could surprise you. The least you could do is stick around and poop your pants in front of us so we can all have a laugh. This is One Eye Eagle. Get the High Sciences R&D team ready to set up shop in my location. We have an open interdimensional portal. An unstable dimensional portal. An unstable dimensional portal. And I could not be more excited. This is like Christmas. You are not going through that portal, Stark. Oh, yes I am. Uh, no. Just for a day. The only one going through that portal is Peter Parker. I do gotta get home, so, uh, yeah. I'm really glad we did this. I know that sounds weird. I feel like I should say something profound. With great power comes great responsibility. You know that one? Yeah. Well, that's all I got. Actually, you know what I have to say? All of you, this is really- No! No! You don't think I'd be ready for anything you have? I'm ten steps ahead of you! I'm ready for anything. Now you have this. Oh, God. Holy. Miles Morales is able to break free from the hallucination. No! Ah! What are you? Ah! Ow! Child! Whoa. Hey, not cool, dude. It's not every day I get to see a different world to- SHUT UP! Shut up! Now I have two of you! I can't take it! I can't take two of you! How much of this am I supposed to? Wh what just happened? I don't like this. Well, you're probably not gonna like this either. Miles kicks Mysterio back through the portal. Wow, that felt good. Venom Blast! No!
No! This isn't how this... You were under arrest before, and now you're doubly under arrest. See? Smart man. You can't keep me here! I don't belong here! You should have thought about that before you went and acted like a fool. You're gonna keep him here? I assume that where you come from, no one knows Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Yeah? Then I think he's better off here. Yeah, that would help me out a lot, actually. You're welcome. And I get to pick his brain. Dimensional portals, chemical fear agents. You stay away from his brain, that's all I need. Like, that's going to happen. So, can I go home now? Actually, you have to go home now. According to my readings, that portal is damaged, unstable, and beginning to close on itself. Hey, really? Thank you. For what? You know, keeping it going. So you're cool with it? I have your, you know, your... My blessing? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank all of you. Don't let anyone clone you. Seriously. And only date one girl at a time. And, and if you find out a guy named Dr. Octopus is going to marry my Aunt May, stop it. And don't lend anyone named Wolverine or Mockingbird money. You'll never see it again. And once you beat up the bad guy, leave the crime scene as soon as possible because they'll try to make you clean it up and wash your costume like daily because it will get funky and people will make fun of you. And no matter what, never. Should I get a pen? No. Listen, this is the most important thing I can possibly tell you about being Spider-Man. This is as true as it gets if you ever see a... And closed. Wow, what a day. And I would give the opposite advice on almost every subject, by the way, if anyone cares. Hands off the portal, Stark. Just admiring it. Admire it from over there. So you got his blessing. That was crazy. You earned it, kid. Now you have to keep earning it. Back in his universe, Peter Parker showers and sits down at his computer. Miles Morales. Miles Morales. I wonder if we have a Miles Morales. Oh my god. That's the end of the Spider-Man miniseries. It ends on a great cliffhanger, and we wouldn't find out who the other Miles Morales was until Spider-Man 2 came out five years later. I'll also be covering the Spider-Man 2 miniseries, because I love it, but probably not for a couple months.